нам очень сложно. The fact that this is a terrorist attack is no longer a secret. Moreover, it was a terrorist act committed at a state level, because no amateurs could commit an attack like this. About a month ago, after the Hirsch investigation, there was a media campaign with articles appearing in several newspapers allegedly stating some Ukrainian activists had organized an attack, and it was especially emphasized that these activists had nothing to do with the Ukrainian government. How do you feel about these versions? I'm sure that this is complete nonsense. An explosion of this kind at such a depth could only be carried out by a specialist, supported by all the power of the state, which has the required technology. So right now Russia is trying to get the United Nations to launch an independent inquiry into the Nord Stream sabotage, or as Russian President Vladimir Putin says, terrorist attack. The only inquiries that are happening right now are the equivalent of suspects to a crime having their friends say that they'll look into it and then let everyone else know what happened. And the West just seems to think that that's fine and that they can investigate themselves and in the meantime float this narrative all across the mainstream Western media citing unnamed intelligence officials in each country, like the US and Germany, for example, who are all conveniently blaming the whole thing on some quote pro-Ukrainian group with no identity beyond that, but which magically absolves absolutely all actual countries and states from any and all responsibility. We're supposed to believe that some random dude came up with a bright idea to get together five other random dudes to load massive amounts of explosives onto a boat at a port in Germany, sail out into NATO waters and blow the steel pipes and their concrete encasement 20 days after their excursion remotely. Investigative journalist Seymour Hirsch, who attributed the attack to a U.S.-led special operation in conjunction with Norway, isn't buying it. They're trying to, to divert attention from the story that I wrote, which included enormous specifics. I was describing a process that began before Christmas of 2021. It involved the, the, uh, the National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, of the White House of the, uh, for the president. They had a series of meetings at a secret room in the White House. Meanwhile, there's a total lack of outrage here in Europe from the establishment. Their silence is deafening, considering that the Nord Stream network is a joint project with major European energy companies and Russia's Gazprom to secure Europe's energy needs. Now, according to what's been seen recently in the Russian media, Sweden, Denmark and Germany, three countries near the attack and that should have had some information about it, are not engaging with Russian authorities trying to figure out what happened. It's very difficult for us to conduct our own investigation if we're not even allowed to access the site of this terrorist attack. Only Gazprom received permission from Danish authorities to investigate the site of the explosion. But Gazprom did not limit itself to the study of the very place of the explosion. Along the gas pipeline itself, the ship rented by Gazprom moved on, and at a distance of about 30 kilometers from the explosion site, a column was found, which stood at a similar spot to where the explosions occurred. These are the most vulnerable places in the gas pipeline, the junction of pipes. Experts believe that this may be an antenna for receiving a signal to activate an explosive device that can be placed beneath the pipeline. And now, of course, we would like to get permission from Danish authorities to independently, together with them, or even better, by forming an international group of explosive experts to carry out the necessary research. Apparently, several explosive devices were planted, some exploded and some didn't. The reasons are unclear. So obviously some neutral authority really does need to intervene here, like the UN, and um, a letter has been sent from the Russian ambassador to the United Nations, to the Security Council, to that effect. But the West certainly doesn't seem interested in demanding its own answers.